Hello, my name is Chris and I'm a U-Haul hitch professional. Putting a hitch in your Ford Explorer can lead to some amazing adventures, such as biking, camping, or road trips to your favorite destination. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Now let's take a look at how we do this install. You will need the following tools and supplies to complete this installation. To begin this installation, some trim models will have a underbody panel underneath. You'll need to remove it and several fasteners with a 10 millimeter socket. We however do not, so we're going to move on to the next steps of lowering the exhaust. First, let's support it with a strap. Now repeat for the other side. The first rubber isolator of our exhaust is directly behind our tailpipe in the side of the frame. It's going to be a tricky bolt to show you. We're going to give you a look at it, but we're going to go ahead and get our 10 millimeter socket with an extension to go in there and loosen it up. Our second isolator is just forward of this rear cross support and right about where we put our strap. Make sure there's a little slack, but not too much. Use exhaust hanging pliers and perhaps soapy water if needed to lower the rubber isolator. We're now ready to lower our heat shield. We're gonna go ahead and use a 10 millimeter socket for four fasteners underneath. And as well, there will be two seven millimeter fasteners, one off to the side, one behind the tire in the wheel well. Be sure not to lose the clips for these two seven millimeter fasteners. Now that we've removed the fasteners from the heat shield, we're ready to pull it down. So I'm gonna use a trim panel tool and pop it off all the studs. Now repeat for the other side. We're now ready to make a trim to the heat shield before we can return it back to the vehicle. The first trim we make is a half inch wide channel that comes all the way down to about perpendicular with the center line of this access hole. Our next cut will be a one and a half by one and a half inch square just above the hole that this stud comes through to re-secure the heat shield. I'm going to go ahead and make a cut with a 2 and 1 8 inch hole saw. Uh, any hole saw you have between an inch and a half and obviously 2 to 2 and a half inches should be sufficient, but we want to know, don't want to go too much bigger than that. Now repeat for the other side. You can now remove this bumper beam bolt with a 21 millimeter socket. It will not be reinstalled. Now repeat for the other side. For our next step, we're gonna make a trim in the fascia so that the hitch receiver can fit. This direction does call out that if you have a kick sensor, we're gonna drill out some of these rivets using a drill bit and a 3 16 drill bit and actually lift up the wire track it's called underneath there. We'll go ahead and take a look at it and you wanna remove the wire. We've now gone ahead and measured out the section we need to trim. Found the center line of the fascia and measured out a three and a half inch section by a four inch deep section. In your first corner, take a rounded turn and return later and cut the corner out. You can use a metal file to clean up any frayed plastic. You can now fish wire in your hardware using the fishing wire, the carriage bolt, and the carriage spacer. You can now raise your heat shield back into place. This heat shield fastener will not be returned. The hitch will sandwich it into place. Now repeat for the other side.
We're now ready to raise the hitch into place. I will be using this U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you do not have one, we recommend you get a second set of hands. The hitch is heavy. You will need to pull back the fascia in order to get the hitch up and in the bumper past the trunk pan. Pass the fish wires through their respective access holes. Insert the new M16 bolt and flat washer into the existing weld nut. Remove your fish wire and thread on your flange nut. Now repeat for the other side. We are now ready to tighten and torque the hardware to the manufacturer's specifications. We will link them in the description below. We will start with our half inch hardware using a three quarter inch socket. And then for our M16s, we're gonna use a 15 16 socket. We're now ready to place the exhaust back on the previously removed rubber hangers. Now that our hitch is installed, we've pulled the vehicle onto level ground to show you some important measurements. This is a two inch hitch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is four inches. From the ground to the inside top of the receiver is 16 inches. These measurements will help you determine the necessary length, rise, or drop of your hitch accessories, like a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. That concludes putting a hitch on your Ford Explorer. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you out there. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with your local U-Haul hitch professional, please visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. You can also download the U-Haul app using the link in the description for even more ways to manage your hitch and towing needs.